Dit is de laatste dag van de klas Neuroeconomics op de Erasmus School of Economics. Mijn uh, studenten uh, hadden uh, had een uh, very difficult klas, dus we leerden veel nieuwe dingen. En nu ga ik luisteren naar wat ze hebben absorbed van deze klas. Dus ik ben heel excited en ik hoop dat ze luisteren naar hen. Thanks, good luck. Okay, so welcome to our presentation about the perfect lifestyle of a leader. Basically there we have uh, three points. So first of all I have to say there's some uh, basics, for example epigenetics, what we uh, experienced in our early childhood, there are genes, there is uh, randomness and this also influences uh, the type of, uh, the, the, the style of the leadership. But, uh, Why should we focus on something we can't change? We should focus on something we can change and we can change something with our lifestyle. Well, uh, physical activity is pretty important to main maintain uh, brain health. And as you can think, uh, maintaining brain health is pretty important for a leader because the brain is his capital. And uh, so, yeah, what are the effects of physical activity to the brain? Well, it activates certain areas. It, uh, Important is the amygdala, the hippocampus, for the stress resiliency, but also uh, the hippocampus has an effect on memory, storage and learning. Okay, then the neurogenesis. Definition is that uh, new neurons are born and during sport it happens in the hippocampus. Um, yeah, they are produced, are they, in the olfactory bulb and the dendate gyrus. And uh, there, is an, there is evidence that uh, it really works at uh, neuro genesis through exercising. We know it a couple of years. Um, the benefits from neurogenesis are uh, increased memory capacity and uh, we can reduce interference between different memories and we can add time information to memories. There's also the brain derived neurotrophic factors. Uh, BDNF is a neurotrophin and these are important for survival differentiation and growth of neurons. And exercise can increase the level of BDNF, MR, MR, mRNA, and well, mRNA, they, uh, yeah, they code uh, BDNF. And so uh, if exercise increases BDNF and BDNF enhances learning, this means that exercise promotes learning and memory building. Uh, I think everybody knows in here and pretty much everybody knows out there what is healthy. And um, having uh, like a hamburger for lunch might be very pleasant right now, might be pleasant for the next few days, but having like a hamburger three times a day for a month might not be so pleasant. The general conclusion we had pretty f uh, fast is if you have a healthy body, you have a healthy brain. But it's not that easy. The leader's essentials are specific neurotransmitters, dopamine, the uh, omega-3 fatty acids, flavanols, some minerals and caffeine that you can easily use. High stress resilience is important, great amount of general and specific knowledge, outstanding creativity and the time schedule where you have to manage your sleep. It's important to have environmental activity. We have two parts, relationships and the environmental enrichment. So I think this is very clear. The more stimuli you have, the more happens in your brain, yeah? So, and the more LTP uh, that is getting created, the more heavy in plasticity, the more uh, new ideas you have, the, the broader view you have, and the more knowledge you have. And this is very important as a leader. Let's go to the advice, what is important. Um, as I already said, get exposed to as many different stimuli as possible. For example, travel. Uh, Dutch people travel a lot, that's why they're usually intelligent. Uh, be open-minded, um, just go for something new, talk to different people, it's always interesting. 
and do something new. For example, start to play an instrument. Why not? It uh, activates new uh, areas in your brain and it will help you. And the other important thing is have relationships because uh, you, you always have conflicts in a company and uh, as we already know, social distress leads to increase in cortisol and cortisol, especially uh, prolonged exposure to cortisol, uh, is very harmful. Thank <laughs> you.